Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I feel like it's been a while since I have done a movie. Um, I guess it's been um, probably a week, but I am back to do our Ink of the Week update. Let me find my notes in here. I have tabs for that reason. This past week, I did an ink that my friend Jen sent to me. It's the Emerald of Chavor. And let's see. I didn't write the ink down. That's funny. Um, yeah, I, I wrote the, um, the pen that I was using, the Lamy Safari B, a broad nib. Um, Jen sent me this pen. I just gave it a bath today, so it's not all put back together. But this is the Aqua Marine 2020 Special Edition, I believe she said. And <clears throat> the Emerald of Chavor ink in this was amazing. Oh my goodness. The flow was fabulous. It just, you put it on paper and it just <clears throat> seemed to just pour out of the pen like with no effort, in a, in a really delightful way. Um, so I had it in my Twisby Eco. I always label my nib size and then the particular Twisby because most of them are broad nib. Some of them aren't, but since I have so many broad nib ones, I like to specify which one. So I put the clear here because it was my clear cap Twisby Eco. So my impressions of that ink, <clears throat> excuse me, I just wrote, wow. When I wrote with my Lamy and this ink, but wow, when I wrote with my Lamy and this ink, the flow is amazing, so smooth and very wet. <clears throat> and the Emerald of Chavor ink also has a really nice, um, I want to say, is it shimmer? So here, you may or may not be able to tell. I don't have the finest quality instruments here, <clears throat> but you can see a lot of red coming through and it's really, really pretty. I absolutely loved <clears throat> writing with this ink all week and I just um, today cleaned out the little bit. It was pretty much gone. I think I had a little bit kind of at the very end, but I cleaned that out. And then I also had it, um, well, okay, in my Twisby and in the Lamy Safari Aquamarine. So that's what I'm trying to point out there. I'm losing my concentration here. I had it in two pens, the Lamy and the Twisby. And so this top one was the Lamy. So it's a, a thicker line. They're both broad nib pens, but the Lamy is a little bit thicker. This is Tomoe River paper, by the way. And then the Twisby one, again, um, less bold lines, very smooth, uh, very nice flow, but a little more shimmer, um, not available, uh, visible with the slightly broader nib. So it was very, very pleasant to write with. I tried it on all kinds of paper. And even papers that aren't necessarily super good for um, fountain pens or fountain pen ink, I found it to, to work well with. Um, so everything I could think of to write with, I wrote on this. It was really nice on the Cosmo Air Light, excellent on the Tomoe River paper. I liked it on my Leuchtturm paper. Um, I have some samples of the Tora Next and the, um, let me think, Rhodia. Um, thank you to you friends who sent me the sample pieces. And it was nice on those too. So really I didn't meet a paper that the pen and ink didn't like. Um, excellent. So it passed, I guess for me, the ultimate test was like and would buy. Not just like, it looks like I made a <laughs> hike like um, and would buy. And then I wrote in today, except for cleaning the pens. So when I was cleaning the, let's see, oh, I re-inked the 
Twisby Eco that I had this in with the ink of the week. But I wanted to just summarize those previous week's ink. Anyway, I've switched that out, but I did have a little bit down kind of at the base. Um, let's see if I have a Twisby here. So where I was having trouble, I'm trying to remember if it was in this pen or if it was in the, I think it was kind of like at the base there. Like it kind of, seemed like it built up around the nib or something. I can't remember now. It was a little bit more work to clean it out, but oh my goodness, what a beautiful ink. I mean, I think, like I said, my first impression was, wow, I started to write with it. I'm like, this is amazing. And I loved it and I definitely would consider buying. And a little side note is the reason why right now I probably won't go ahead and buy a bottle is I have two inks that I feel are a similar basic color. This is the Lamy Tourmaline. I had uh, one last cartridge that I'm using in my Mango Lamy, and I love the combination so much. Um, so I bought another one of these just recently. This has the attached blotter paper, in case you're wondering, and this piece will come off. I haven't tried to do that. Um, anyway, that is kind of a similar color. Do I have it here anywhere? Let's see. Yeah, I, I, I don't, real handy. I don't want to page through this and bore you half to death. And then I have the uh, Orochizuku by Pilot, the Kujaku, or Jaku. And this is a beautiful color too. And I just feel like they're so similar even though they have different qualities, and this is a very lovely shimmery ink, I, I don't feel like I want to spend the money right now on it. However, I would definitely consider buying it. I would probably keep it in the one Lamy, not Lamy, um, Twisby Eco, my clear one, as I specified up here. I would probably use it in that one, because that one already has staining in the cap from the Noodler's ink, so... If that one gets a little bit stained up, I feel like I'd be okay with that since it's already got that element of the stained cap on the inside where that little rubber piece is. Anyway, I don't think I would want to keep cleaning this ink out of a lot of variety of pens, but um, I liked the writing experience so much. I would definitely very seriously be open to buying it when my ink supply dwindles a little bit and I need some more. It's going to be fun when I um, kind of wrap up this little ink of the week thing to see if I want to purchase one of them. I've come across some that I've really liked and when I did the, um, let's see if it's here. I'm kind of disorganized in this book. I, I keep trying to be organized and then I'm not. Somewhere I have a place where I did my March inks and there was a couple of those that I really liked. Um, the River of Fire and the Jade, Jade Noir. I think those were two that I would also consider buying but again I have some green inks and I'm trying to keep my bottled inks. You know I love the bottles. They're so much fun to get these but I just don't want to accumulate and have stuff that I can't use. And then I start to feel, um, if I have too much, like I'm being wasteful, or I should use it, I should use it. And like, you shouldn't feel like you have to use things up. But if I have too much, I start to feel like, oh, I've got too much, got to use it. So that's why I'm trying to keep my ink bottle collection somewhat contained. And I feel like I'm already overlapping a little bit in the colors. So anyway. I won't buy it now, but yes, I would. I would buy it. Um, more comments I wrote is that it flows so nicely. It's really wet and dries with a nice shimmer. <clears throat> I've liked using this ink on every paper, even though some paper shows off the qualities better. And then I said, I think I want to have this one, but its base color is similar to Tourmaline and Kujaku. And I said, I like this very much. So. I kind of just explain what I was saying, but 
holding off on buying another bottle right now. I guess I would buy another bottle of ink if it was something very unusual or much more favorably um, appealing to me than what I already have if it's an overlapping color, but I, I really do feel like I'm, I'm pretty good with my color variety. So this has been fun to tweak and narrow down my preferences. And then I've gotten the one ready for this week. I'm starting today and then through next Sunday when I switch out. This is week number six of the Ink of the Week. This week I am using a sample that I purchased, purchased um, the Noodler's X Feather. I put it in my Twisby Eco with the clear lid, the clear cap, and I'm comparing it with another black ink that I already have, and that is the Ho <laughs> Hoodler's Nart, Noodler's Heart of Darkness. So as you can see, this is the little stained part um, that I've been telling you about and I pointed out maybe last week. I've tried to clean it and I don't want to poke around in there too much because I feel like I'm going to loosen up that little rubber piece that's inside or whatever that's made of. Um, and I have tried putting a pen flush in there. It just doesn't come out. So I've resigned myself to the fact that this pen will look like that and that's why it's a good pen to use a messier ink with. So I wrote this all out with the Noodler's X Feather and I wrote it out in this and then this little writing here, the narrower writing is this fine tip Pilot Petite pen that super inexpensive, like less than $6 and probably even less expensive on a non-Amazon site, um, but I didn't have to pay shipping. So this is really fun to write with. It's really small, but when you post it, it's a very nice lightweight pen. It writes wonderfully. It's got that little bit of, it kind of makes that scratchy sound, but it doesn't feel scratchy. Um, I guess that's called feedback. Um, I really like writing with this. And since the Noodler's Heart of Darkness is such a another wet, flowy ink, um, I don't mind that this is a fine, a fine nib because it doesn't feel dry at all. It definitely is a different feel than this, but does not feel dry. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. It's uh, the time of year for me. I guess every time of year is it, because I feel like I'm always apologizing for the frog in my throat. But anyway, so two black inks. It might not seem super exciting, but I really do like having a basic black ink to write with. And I wanted to just tell you some of the qualities that I looked up on Goulet Pen's website about these, both the Heart of Darkness and the um, X Feather are inks that are water resistant, so that's good, but neither are fast drying inks. The Heart of Darkness is called that, they said, because it's a very dark, deep black, and it's um, very good on papers that um, are more absorbent. So if you don't have, you know, like a quality paper, maybe you just need to take notes on notebook paper or maybe your less favored fountain pen paper, it'll perform well on <clears throat> like everyday paper. So I, that's why I originally bought it. I just thought I need and would like to have a good black ink for whatever I need to write with. Um, but you do have to be careful. Like I said, they're not fast drying. And today when I was writing with... Uh, I forget which one I was writing with, but I, I did smear it because I didn't give it enough time to dry or I didn't take the time to blot it. And then the X Feather, um, this was specifically designed not to feather on most papers. So they have a lot of similar qualities, both black, both water resistant, um, you know, but this one is more the X Feather, or no, X Feather is more for not feathering on paper, whereas the Heart of Darkness is good for multi-purpose paper. So in a way, I guess they would both be good on any kind of paper. 
So we'll see. They, they are different. I have a fine and a broad, you know, and so that's more, I guess, the Japanese nib and then the... Do I have that right? No, actually, they would both be Japanese or non-German type nibs, I think. Anyway, broad and fine. Two blacks by Noodlers. And it'll be fun just to see if I prefer, I think, the fine to the broader flow. <clears throat> I really have cut down on my inked up pens for this week. The only other one I'm using is my Lamy Safari. This is a broad nib also. And as I mentioned previously, I, ha I think I mentioned I have the... Um, tourmaline ink in this which is super super pretty really nice ink to write with I've really enjoyed this in this pen so a Lamy ink in a Lamy pen I think what I want to do in a week or two or sometime in the near future is ink up two pens that are the same have one Hiroshizuku Kujaku and the other one be the Lamy tourmaline and see exactly how close they really are. I might find that they are quite different. So anyway, that is that. I'm excited to try these out. And you know what I found is by the end of the week, I'm ready for something new. So I decided uh, just to keep a few pens inked for this week. We've mentioned before, and other people have commented, and uh, one of my friends also commented in one of my um, videos that she also prefers just having a few pens inked up. So um, I think I like that idea. I think I can just focus more on having a few. I had gotten up to having like six or eight inked up again this past week, so I'm narrowing it down this week, but I am going to put some ink in my... Franklin Christoph uh, 03, let's see, it's actually, yeah, 03 vintage glass looking pen. This has been really different to write with, but very nice to write with. Quite a different experience in these broad nibs. I do love the width of that nib. I'm having my glare problem here. Um, I, I, I love that visually. I can write super small with this, and it's really been a fun learning experience. I like that a lot. So I will probably be back um, in a little bit later this week um, to do another video. I am kind of embarking on a couple of Bible journaling ideas, so I will share that with you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.